Hello Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading and welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wayne. So doing your weekly psychic tarot reading, tuning in to the energies of the week, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through for you. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Gemini, in the past, we have the King of Cups. This is someone very balanced, very comfortable with their emotions. Excuse me, very loving. This energy, I'm getting a real dreamy. Comfortable with emotions, loving, caring. Something's hidden. Something, again, water, lots of water. A lot of emotions. More water. I feel like getting out of, there's something. I feel like what was hidden is there's no love here. This might be a very loving person. Very emotionally sound, very compassionate. I feel like what what was hidden is that you were in a connection and there wasn't this isn't love though. This is a loving person. This person's wonderful, but you you're not feeling the love. Ooh. Oh. Maybe maybe because um this person gave was more attentive to someone else. A third party scenario or or work or anyone else like you might have put this person first and they put you last or third or just it wasn't equal and so there's that heartbreak that you wanted to get out of of giving too much to someone to a situation, no matter how wonderful and loving they are, if you're not getting it back, then it feels like you you there's chronic dissatisfaction, chronic disappointment, not feeling you know, reciprocity, and and then there might be heartbreak heartbreak here because um i feel like you even said like hey i i need more and then they give you less they might have even been a bit brutal i'm getting a, a brutality here so this person might be perceived as very loving and kind but There's a, a side of them that they shared with you that doesn't feel very loving to me. All right, Gemini, in your present energy, we have the Seven of Cups options. Lots of options, which one to take. Some of them are good, it's hard to tell. What do we need to know about the Seven of Cups? There we go. Oh, there we go. So you have a lot of options, but you're feeling a little defensive or a lot defensive. Exhausted. That's like um, you've been putting in a lot of effort and work. Yes, you've been putting this effort into and work 
It might be around, it's either in a connection or, or this might be around work and trying to figure out which way to go, what would be the best, what would work out the best. I'm exhausted because I feel like you've, you put a lot into this and you haven't gotten anything really back. And there's this, just this exhaustion. You're waiting for the harvest. I've put all this energy into something and I haven't received anything back. And then, and then something changes and your blessings start coming in. Wow. All right. That sounds lovely. Feels very happy. It looks like you're in your emotions. Like it's really difficult um, to stay grounded in your emotions. It feels overwhelm, emotional overwhelm. That almost feels good. Like you've been, I feel like there's been, that's what this feels like. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. That's what this feels like. You, I'm, oh my God, I'm going to cry. This is so good. I've been working on this so hard. I've been waiting for this to come through and, and then just magically it, it comes through and in a big way. And it feels like this, like I'm in my emotions. I'm, I'm so happy, but there's all this other stuff that's coming out to make room for the happiness because the universe wants to bless you and it feels like it's okay to cry <laughs> if I can do it <laughs> here publicly somewhat publicly on the interwebs to have those emotions to feel those emotions to be okay with not feeling okay you're it feels like you might have a couple ugly cries like your your blessings come in and it feels like you express that and then more come in it's not done the universe ain't done so whatever that first wave of blessings and you you're feeling very overwhelmed in your emotions well, hang tight, buckle up, Gemini, because there's another round. The universe wants to bless you, wants to make this a habit. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Wow, Gemini. You're ready for this. It, it's, I feel like, um, there's this energy in the past. There's very few here cards here, but that's it's a lot more painful than what I expressed. And the difficulty you've gone through. Um, yeah, I'm happy for you, Gemini. Messages from your higher self is the two of cups. A partnership, a soul connection. This also has reciprocity. This has someone who can see you who can hear you and who you can see and hear equally this is i i i recognize you it looks like you meet up with someone this is such a loving connection and it helps you release so many more. Wow, what a great reading. <laughs> this, you meet someone and you can let go of other burdens. I feel like I'm going to cry again. Like whatever has been exhausting you, 
I feel like you've had to do things that's it. You've had to do things by yourself. You've had to carry a load by yourself. Can you do it? Yes. Gemini, you're so capable. But I feel like now I don't have to do it alone. Now I have someone here to help me. And you're out of a mental trap. You have a whole different mindset. You release your burdens. You have a whole new mindset. Wow. Wow, Gemini. Uh, your challenge is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Your challenge at the beginning of the week, it's like I'm trying to figure out what option to take, which avenue to go. I'm exhausted. I've been working on this forever and I haven't gotten the returns as expected. And your challenge is to, to not read into the lack of shift of energy because it's coming. It's, it's, it's headed your way. It's very close not to catastrophize a lack of change because the change is here. The change is nigh. <laughs> it's like there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of shift. There's a stagnancy here. There's also this person, this King of Cups in your past. There's a lack of communication. Feels like you're no contact. Either they turn their back on you or you turn your back on them. That nurturing energy. Oh, looks like they, they might be coming back. And that feels like a challenge. Because they're coming in that Five of Wands energy. To me, that's kind of like a little bit of a fuck with energy. A little stir of the pot. Some drama. Like, I'm feeling unsettled, so I, I want to project it and make you feel unsettled so I don't have to carry that around. Or I don't want to feel unsettled alone. Let me pick a fight with someone. And, and then people can join me at this drama level. What else does Jim and I need to know? Oh boy. Yeah, there's something very out of, out of whack, wackety whack with this King of Cups person. There's something that's very unfair. I gotta say, it looks like you let your guard down around this person. There, there's something about this this energy they can they can talk to you talk you out of believing what you're perceiving and you let your guard down but it it, it still doesn't work like you let your guard down, but this isn't a good match. This isn't, I, I feel like this person still doesn't show up. This person is, is not easy to work with. And I, it feels like you, you turn your back maybe again. And this time you're more grounded. This person might also come in, oh, with this current energy. When you have this like blessings come in and and then you're upset, like, oh my God, this is a bit. And then more blessings come in. I think this person has turned their back and they're no contact, but they're somehow they feel they want to get in your energy, even if they have to pick a fight, because they know they can get you out of balance and let your guard down. And it looks like they want your money. It looks it looks like this. There's um, quite a bit of financial 
you know, the first wave of blessings might be more around your heart space and people showing up, whatever, love, happiness, feeling so joyful and overwhelmed by that. And then a financial, something that you've been working on. I don't know where that comes from. And then a financial windfall. And I feel like that's both of those this person doesn't like you uh, there's a little envy and jealousy it looks like you turn your back on this energy i i got to say it looks like you you realize you're abundant and you you realize your worth that's pretty cool all right gemini What's hidden is the hanged man in reverse. Not seeing things from a different perspective. Someone's unable to see things from a different perspective. Immediately, that sounds like whoever the king of cups is. Remember, that could be a female or male. Whoever has that, I, I feel like they, they just have this set perspective uh, and it's almost like to be in this person's energy if you want to stay there you have to dissociate because it's how they perceive things or nothing there's no room for how others perceive are perceiving things and it looks like they're just unapologetic or they've got a wow Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they just I'm not I I I'm not apologizing and uh I'm not learning anything new. I jeez. Oh, I do it I do feel like they they're woe is me you know like they're unable to really see you and hear you and perceive you it's all about them and um and they miss you but it's not like authentic it's like they say what they need to say to get hook you in and I, I feel like you see this this is a trap, you know, that yeah. You're uh no longer wow, hanged man. You're you see this person. You can see them, you're observing them. You can't communicate and change them. They don't want to be changed. They know exactly what they're doing or they're completely oblivious. It doesn't matter. You either join their program and see things the way they see things, or you don't. And I feel like you you just you just observe, and you're starting to see this person, and in a very different perspective. And it feels like I'm no longer going to sacrifice myself for this connection. Wow. All right. Your opportunity, Gemini, is the Six of Cups. So there's an opportunity in someone from your past who has a lot of love for you. What do we need to know about the Six of Cups? What does Gemini need to know? Something's not working. Something's not working. So I feel like now spirit's kind of being redundant. So something's not working with the person from your past. And that's where we started. King of Cups. This is could be I feel like this person is is has wonderful qualities. I I I don't think very many people know the aspect of this person that you have received. Does that make sense? You've perceived a very different aspect of this person. 
you put so much time and effort into this connection and it just uh, it doesn't work i i mean you like with all the time and effort and energy and care and attention i feel like you know this person very well but it it's yeah it's not working there's a tower there's there's not the the foundation and it doesn't matter that this person is so nice and so loving and other people enjoy them as loving and nice because uh, what's hidden is that you don't feel loved you don't feel cared for it's not what you want and that's all that matters so it looks like figuring out what you do want or not figuring out it looks like what you want is coming is starting to come through it does look like you have an opportunity it's an opportunity to let go of something that you've you know if you're spending if you spent 50 60 percent of your energy on this person over months years and and then you you get such a small return on your investment energetically then you're going to be very depleted that foundation doesn't work anymore it doesn't hold it's not happening this tower is not happening to you it's happening for you all right Gemini your possible outcome is the knight of cups in reverse keep hearing in my head smiling liar smiling liar this is the kind of apology that's like I'm so sorry if you feel that way I'm so sorry that you feel that I did something wrong I, there's the way they apologize makes it a loophole like everything about this person is very unapologetic because that's not an apology I'm sorry if you feel that way. I'm sorry if you think that I hurt you. Apology, it's like, I'm, I'm sorry. You let down all your defenses. I'm so sorry. Then you put yourself in the other person's shoes. It's not about you when you're apologizing. It's about them. I can see how my actions hurt you. And I was unaware of that, and that was hurtful too. You you let them know that you are perceiving as much as you can how their perspective. There's no defensiveness in a great apology. There's there's no excuse. I'm not. I'm when you're in an apology space, you are, you immediately are defenseless. You, it's not about being defenseless. That's why apologies are so wonderful when they're really good because you could, the person can feel uh, your vulnerability. You are no longer strategizing. You're no longer trying to keep or what you just, you give up, surrender, surrender. Maybe that's also in what's hidden. You surrender and allow yourself to see what's going on. So, and then receive. A good apology is like they can tell you, like they're not trying to defend their point of view still. There's like, yeah, I can, both, it doesn't mean that that's the only way to perceive things and that you are wrong. You could also be partially right or have your own issues that are hurt both perceptions can be equal there's not one has to i feel like this king of cups energy is like there's only this way and you have to see it the way i see it so again you have to kind of dissociate to be in this connection looks like a lot of anxiety and worry especially around this 
person. Because they, they have a way of mentally manipulating the situation and making it hard for you to move on past whatever they're projecting onto you. I feel like this energy also projects onto you. But it looks like you're either people are becoming more aware. You're definitely becoming more aware of whoever this is. It's like it's like you, they are getting caught. Wow. Yeah. You're really you, you don't want to be around someone who's sneaky and who's a bully who has to win. This person also, you might want to check and see if this person is courting you energetically or is in your space or um, projections. Definitely cords. And also check where you're courting them. Cords don't go one way. If you have a lot of people courting you, it's probably because you're courting a lot of people too. That's a tough pill to swallow, but karma. If you cord people, you make karma makes it so they can cord you. So free will, allowing people to be themselves, not trying to control others will help with the courting. It does feel like this person is really wanting to wanting to explore their will i want to create what i my will and that is a valid i mean it's a free world world universe you can do whatever you want so if that's what they want to explore that's okay However, those who operate in my will will be done energy are very controlling and they get very upset when people don't act and show up and behave the way they need them to. And I feel like um, that's what we're seeing here. I feel like you're, you already know all this. I'm not telling you anything in this reading that you didn't already know. I feel like this, if this reading is, has resonated and you're still hanging on and this is the end, you this is just validating. Yes, you are seeing this person correctly. You're not going to find very many people, at, nor should you, to agree like, I'm not seeing, you don't need someone to validate I don't find this connection positive for me. I don't find it. It doesn't, I'm not saying you're bad. I don't need change. I, it's, I need the change because this is, it's just not working. I feel like there's, you're trying to convince like the people around you that it's okay. Maybe that's just for one or two of you instead of like permission to leave or move to something else and I that's kind of what's going on at the end of the week it feels like um you might cut your like but I don't know what direction to take I'm I'm not quite I, I see what's going on but I don't feel confident enough to to make a, a new choice and I don't want to be reckless I don't want to just make any choice and be reckless. I'm going to wait for an inspired. It, it looks like at the end you get an ace of um, swords. You get um, clarity, divine clarity, epiphany energy. <gasps> Aha. Light bulb moments. You know, remember how those feel? Like when you get an idea, at first it's like, it hits up here in your crown chakra, this like bright energy, and you're like, oh, oh my gosh, 
yes. And the more you kind of examine the idea, you're like, I haven't seen this. I haven't thought of this. This leads to freedom and victory. So, wow. Wow. All right, Gemini, that's your reading. I hope that was helpful. Um, Yeah, take care. Have a great week. If this reading resonated, hit that like button for me and consider subscribing so you get more of these readings in your feed. I do a daily psychic tarot reading. I do the weekly horoscope readings. And on the weekend, I do a love reading and a business reading. So thanks. Take care.